bed, okay? Leah really loved this jacket. You bought it for him, huh? Mm -hmm. And since it's ruined, I should just replace it. I mean, I keep trying to think of a shop in Paris where I could order a new one. And that way, when we get there, we can just pick it up. It doesn't make any sense, does it? I wish it did. Would you like me to give you some something to help you sleep? No. You know, something mild might help the pain bearable. Pain's my only company now. All right, look. I'm gonna get you some food, okay? You could use that right now. We need the evidence if we're going to build a case against Hayward. Greenlee? Green Greenlee? comments about me. Did you check the bathroom? Yes, of course I checked the bathroom. All right, no clothes in here. Maybe they took it for more tests. No, no, they, there's nothing scheduled. Maybe it was last minute, David. Wait a minute. Leah's jacket. Leah's jacket is gone, too. Greenlee? It's David. Greenlee, are you here? Are you okay? Greenlee there? No, no, nobody's here. Nothing. You haven't found her? Yeah, we searched the hospital from top to bottom. Nothing. <sighs> that doesn't make sense. Where the hell could she be? We'll find her. I have the entire department on alert. We're checking with friends and family. Anyone who might have an idea where she is. We shouldn't have to be looking for Greenlee. She should be in Paris right now with Leo. David.
All right, guys, you have to go. David, I owe you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get on that plane. I mean it. I owe you forever. Uh huh. I have something I need to tell you. <laughs> I can't go to Paris, not now. What did you say? Look, David's in a mess. And I can't leave Pine Valley right now. Charge is easier for me than it is for you, right? Look, you, no, you, you, your legal problems are over. You're, you're free and clear. Look, I can't. This has I to can't be done. It, it has to be done. It's just a bag of evidence, right, on her desk. No. Just promise me, promise me that you'll get the hell out of this town and away from me, and you'll start building your future with me. You're my future too. Okay, and I'm not going to stop helping you until I know you're out of this. No, no. Listen to me. I had my chance, okay? And I've lost the only life that I ever dreamed of with Anna. Don't lose yours, Leo. I won't, I promise. Why didn't you just listen to me, Leo? The one time I got it right. The one time. Why couldn't you just listen? No, uh, no, we've been to our office and uh, grandparents, a couple of friends, but nothing. What? The, the boathouse? What about the boathouse? They got married there recently. They were happy, remember? The yeah, we checked there. There's no sign she's been there. We will find her. I I've got everything covered. The taxis, car rentals, the airport. She'll turn up. It's, it's fine. Don't worry, please. This is all my fault. It's not your fault. We've been over this. If it weren't for me, Leo and Greenlee would be in Paris right now, enjoying their new life together. You are not responsible for your brother's death. Vanessa is. No. no. Leo stayed because of me. David, please, don't do this to yourself, please. And Greenlee is out there right now, and we don't know where she is. And if something happens to her, Anna, we gotta find her. We gotta find her. I can't lose somebody else. <laughs> 